have a Autolite 4100 four barrel here. I'm going to set the float on. And uh, first, we got to take the float out so I can show you how this is put on. Okay, kind of a retainer. First of all, the uh, needle is put on with this little clip right here. It clips right over here, and all that is for is so when the float uh, comes up, excuse me, it uh, pulls the needle out of the uh, seat. Okay, so here's how the spring is put on. I have another video that shows it, shows me putting it on. There it is. Uh, nothing to it. Okay. And this again clips over the seat. So it makes sure the needle goes in there. Like so. Okay. And then I take the clip and clip it down on the seat. There's a little groove in the seat where it, uh, the, the uh, wire fits over. Alright, so here we go. We're going to do the float level on this. And uh, this is the float level here. I want to uh, warn you, do not put a lot of pressure on the needle. It doesn't take much to ruin that biting tip. Alright, so now this is a 4100, but there are a lot of different applications. So you want to use your instruction sheet and get the uh, size off of that. Now if you have a transplanted uh, carburetor, then uh, what you're going to have to do is find the uh, closest application you can on the chart and uh, go with that. Uh, typically these here are basically level, but what I did is I got this outside caliper that I use and I set the uh, uh, depth <coughs> excuse me, that I want. And this sticks out and I just measure it this way, okay? And I go in about a quarter inch or so from the uh, tip and measure it from the top of the float bowl here. Uh, and uh, there you go, and that's how you measure it. Now, to bend it, you bend the uh, this right here. And you really should pull it off, like say you don't want to put any pressure on the uh, needle. Pull it off and it just take ever so slightly, bend it up or down, whatever you need to do to, to get it at the right height. And it may take a couple of tries, but uh, uh, don't try to fudge it if your carburetor is flooding and all this stuff. It's probably not the float. Float is the last thing that is the problem when, it, when you're talking about flooding. Uh, and if it's flooding, you, you know, you don't do something like uh, uh, set the float another quarter inch or something so it just gives much fuel. I just ain't going to work. All right, so we put this back in here again, clip it over. We bent it a little bit, so we remeasure it, and we got it right. Now, on this one, the secondary is the same size, the same depth, I should say, same float level, both primary and secondary. Okay, so that's how you set the float level on a 4100. Thank you for watching.